Hey, getting a picture here. Hey, what's up, guys? All right, here's what we did. I just whipped it up quick. It's nothing spectacular. All we did was to switch the badge, but uh, it looks cool. It looks kind of retro. Looks like the uh, the old ones used to do it. This is how Chevy should have done it on the SS. But anyways, there you go. I just swapped the badge out for an SS badge, and uh, I think it looks really good there. If you buy this car in an actual SS, they put that badge, for whatever reason, right there on the bottom corner of the door. And I don't know why they put it there. It just doesn't look good. I feel it should be on the front like that. And uh, I said, this looks cool. People uh, always ask me about it. They believe that it's a real SS. And I tell them, nope, it's just a badge I put on there. But like I said, it looks kind of cool like that. If you get real close, you can see it's still the Chevy emblem behind it. And I just stuck that right where the emblem used to be. But also, I, I swapped out the grill for the newer one. You see it's that, uh, that cross pattern there, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the bottom grill, the straight lines is what this grill looked like. And then the newer one had that uh, that cooler looking cross pattern. So I got to replace the bottom pieces so it fits. But for now, I just stuck that in there. Like I said, I thought it was cool. That's the way that uh, Chevy should have made it, like they used to make them years ago. The only problem with this car in an SS, though, is it's uh, it, it, it's 300 horse, which is it's not bad. But it, it's only 300 horse, which you can get out of a six-cylinder now. And it's front-wheel drive, so it's basically completely worthless in turns. Um, it's just a straight-line car. It gets up and goes all right for a four-door family car, but it's a straight-line car, and you know what fun is that? Like I said, I think that looks pretty cool like that. I like the way it came out. A lot of people ask me about it because they've never seen one, you know, with that particular emblem like that in the grill, and it, it, that's the way they used to do it in the 60s, you know, when back when they were making SSs, you know, real cars. It looked good. I think I'm going to get another one for the back, put it in the middle. I used to actually have one of those on the back of my old car, but... I just thought it looked kind of cool, you know, it looks it looks real. So, that was it. If you got one of these cars, slap an SS badge on the front and it looks cool. You know, I had to go out and get a, a family car when I had my kids because, uh, you know, I'm all respectable and whatnot now. <laughs> so, no more fun cars for now until they're older. But just because I can't have a fun car doesn't mean I can't make it look like I have a fun car. But I like the way it came out. It looks pretty cool. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.